<laughs> cool. Hi. <laughs> it is Deb Acker. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, so it has been quite some time since I have done a Perry 10K live broadcast, but I am so super excited to be talking to you guys about, thank you so much for inviting followers. Um, hi Sal, thanks for joining. Hello, hello, hello. So um, it's been quite some time. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name's Deb Acker. I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. And so I was really, hi Justin, thanks so much for joining. Um, I was so excited to do this broadcast because it just really, really called to me, right? And as an intuitive, I kind of just tune in and I'm like, this just felt really, really good. Thank you guys so much for inviting followers. Thanks so much for being here. Obviously, for those of you guys who are new to the Perry 10 community. I just want to hold up so you guys can see. I definitely recommend joining. I've been a member for quite some time. I uh, love this community and Katya is started on like feeling alive, right? Because for me, feeling alive has been this journey of like, um, like it's, it's been the journey, it's been the journey that I've taken, right? To really move into like how to live in this like light and just that feeling of excitement and energy at all times. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you so much for the hearts. I'm so excited to be here and I'm so, I know it's a long time. It's been a long time. Um, uh, so basically I want to, I want to put a different perspective on this. So we're going to talk a little bit about fear. We're going to talk about a little bit about passion, which I know, um, a couple of the previous people have talked about, but the thing that I want to talk about and like the thing that most people aren't talking about, but the key to really feeling alive and um, living, I'm glad I landed on the scope too. <laughs> Happy to be here. Um, the key to really feeling alive no matter what's occurring. So, so many times we get trained and so many people advocate like, I'm going to help you get to the joy, right? And much of the joy that a lot of people are talking about is this joy that lives outside of us, right? It's the joy that we find, you know, in our job. It's the joy that we find in what we buy. It's the joy just living outside of us, right? And, you know, many times, like as a pattern, we can be looking to for joy, you know, in our value, in our happiness, with finding the answers. We look to it all outside of ourselves. And what I want to tell you today, and really this really big secret that I've seen to really feeling alive is to actually to be, to own all pieces of ourselves. And let me clarify what I mean by that when I say that. So, Owning our all pieces of ourselves means actually that we have to actually start owning our feelings, right? So, so many times in this life, we get conditioned. Um, yes, and Angela is next, so make sure you're following her. It's a geeky, um, geeky girl speaks, excuse me. So, basically, so many times, you know, as we're going through life, we get conditioned to sort of just like kind of accept life as it is. And, you know, many times we have like these deep seated desires within us and we kind of set them down, we kind of push them away, we pretend that they're not there right? And so when I'm talking about owning all pieces of ourselves, that's one piece, right? To, to start to acknowledge, wait a minute, like what, where am I being called? Like, what am I desiring? What am I truly, truly wanting? Right? But another big piece of that is actually feeling, thank you so much for inviting followers. Um, another big piece of that though, is feeling all of our feelings, right? Actually starting to own the things that make us different, own the things that actually um, make our story and make our story special, own our pain. Because you know what guys, like you chose your story so that you could learn a ton of things and then take that out into the world, right? And the deeper you're willing to go, right? The deeper you're willing to go into your feelings, the deeper you're willing to go into your pain, the deeper you're willing to go into your truth. As you start to go in that direction, you're gonna feel lighter and lighter and more alive and happier and happier and happier. And I know that sounds totally counterintuitive, right? And I know so many of us are resistant to wanting to feel those things. We're scared of them, right? But I'm here to tell you as somebody who has walked the path, as someone who has walked the journey, to tell you that that is the true secret to staying in joy no matter what's occurring, right? Like, um, I know everything that's been going on in our world today, right? You know, there's just a lot of, we're, we're struggling as, as, as a society, as a population, right? But the key to no matter, to feeling good, no matter what, is to own all pieces of you. So you, so you stay in joy by owning all pieces of you. You stay in joy by actually honoring 
like the pieces that most of us are, are wanting to push away, stuff down, escape from, run away from. And I used to be one of those people. I totally get it. I totally think, um, I totally get it. I grew up learning to stuff my feelings. Exactly. We, yeah. Stuff our feelings down, push them away, run away from them, escape, you know, with, either with alcohol or with vacations or, I mean, there's a gazillion ways that we get taught to escape. And the key that I always see, the key that I, um, that I find is just actually you have to allow yourself, you have to give yourself the space to feel them. You have to give yourself the space to actually acknowledge them, to actually own them, and to actually allow yourself to feel them. And as you do that, believe it or not, I know we think it's going to take us down. I know we think that it's actually going to have the, the opposite, but the, but the truth of the matter is the more you go there, you're going to feel lighter and lighter and lighter. And that is like the crux of the work that I do too with my clients, right? We, t we go on a journey. You know, I get so many people and I just wrote, um, yeah, like I work with a lot of people who have gone through addictions like and codependence. I work with a lot of people, right? Like I actually, one of my specialties is like trauma and pain and, uh, you know, abandonment, addiction. All of those are things that I help people clear, right? And I help them clear it from a light space. So I know that those many times have these really heavy, you know, um, negative connotations. And I personally, like in growing up, I had, a, you know, abandonment, right? That was my one of my patterns. And so many people, there's going to be therapists, there's going to be other coaches that are going to tell you, you know, you just learn how to manage it. You just learn how to just be okay where you are. And I'm here to tell you, like as somebody who does this work regularly with my clients, that if you have a pattern and you are ready to see it changed, that it can be cleared in this lifetime. For me, like I cleared my abandonment pattern, which I, I bought into what everyone told me, right? I bought, bought into what therapists told me. I bought into what other coaches told me, like, you're just going to manage it. It's, you're just, it's just going to be okay. And the truth of the matter is, if you're prepared to do the work and if you're prepared to put the time and the effort in and the, um, um, really, you know, be able to work towards it and you're, you know, you're wanting a guide, like if you're prepared to do the work and honor it and own it, you can clear it. I'm telling you right now, like it's something like I've had it in a gazillion um, lifetimes. I've like I had lived through it. And, you know, so you keep taking it until you can clear it, clear it, clear it. So, um, yeah, so I just want to like I just want to put that out there and say that and also say just the most important piece is really just uh, like honoring yourself, right? Honoring every feeling that comes up. And, you know, like so many times we get conditioned and we're, we know we have awareness of our story, right? So we're telling our story over and over and over um, again. My, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many great resources out there, right? Um, but, you know, so many times we're telling um, <laughs> we're telling the, th the uh, same story over and over and over again. And what I'm here to help you do is actually move out of the story. And many times, part of why we're telling that story is because the energy from this moment in childhood. So we have the small moment or a big moment, right? You know, a parent leaves, that's a big moment. A small moment is you get rejected in some way by your parent. Your parent tells you no about something. They tell you no in your best interest. They tell you no because they love you and they care about you. And all of a sudden, in your adult life, you're recreating that same moment from childhood. And you have no reason. You keep trying to choose out of it. You keep trying to tell a different story. And but yet you keep attracting the same type of event over and over and over. You keep getting rejected, for instance, with the example that I just used. And what you can do is you can take the energy off of the initial moment, and as you do that, you clear out the energy, and as you clear out the energy, then all of a sudden in your present day reality, in your present day world, that you no longer have the need to attract it. You have no longer have... Um, have the need to actually pull that into you. And truthfully, you know, the topic of this uh, Perry 10K is feeling alive. That is the way that I feel alive no matter what, right? When you know you can handle no handle everything no matter what's occurring in your life. You can handle the pain, you can handle the joy, and you know that it's all joy in disguise. You know that it's all leading you to more light and to more joy and to more excitement. When you know that, that is when you, like, just you feel so alive, right? You're excited for everything. All of a sudden, you're no longer looking away or trying to push away what's, uh, you know, what's happening. And you're just owning in every single moment. And you're living in every single moment because no longer are you um, having these things from childhood that keep us out of the present day, you know, that keep pulling your attention back to the past. No longer are those happening. And you're actually living in the present moment because you've cleared those. 
And so, you know, the journey, it's like, you know, you keep clearing, you keep clearing, you keep clearing, and all of a sudden things start to change. All of a sudden you're like, holy crap, like I'm excited to be here. You know, many of us play a pro program, play a pattern around, um, not wanting to be here. And so um, just FYI, uh, I'll, I'll wrap this up in just a second. But, you know, for you, for those of you guys, um, go ahead and tune into Angela. She is live. Um, but yeah, like basically, you know, the, for the people that feel like, okay, like I don't want to be here because I was running that programming too. And it's a really, really common program. The way that you clear that, the way that you shift that, the way that you change that is you start to clear out all those things that keep you in the past and you start to move into more and more light. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you're feeling more alive after this and go ahead and tune into Angela Mondor. She is next and sending much love and light to all of you. Thanks so much.